All right, guys, so I want to talk just a little bit about net neutrality, about internet freedom, uh, and about your rights and your freedoms and your liberties, even your gun rights. How net neutrality affects your gun rights, affects your liberty and freedom. Now, this is a play off a podcast that I just did, but I understand not everybody has 30 minutes to an hour to, to watch a podcast or to listen to a podcast. Um, so I wanted to put this in a more manageable bite-sized chunk to kind of just get the basics out there of how important it is to understand what net neutrality is and how dangerous it is and how something needs to be done now. Okay. If you don't know what net neutrality is, here's the basics. It is essentially the regulation of the internet by the government, by the federal government, via the FCC. They essentially want to turn the internet into another public utility, just like they did with the radio waves, like they do with the over-the-air broadcasts on television, um, you know, like they do uh, at one point with the telephone lines. Okay. They want to turn it into a public utility that they control and they regulate. Now, this is something they tried to do before with uh, things like SOPA and PIPA a few years ago. Now, at that time, people stood up and said, not only no, but hell no. We are not allowing the government to control the, the last truly free place we have left. Uh, because that is what the internet is. It is the last truly free place we have. We have true freedom of information on the internet. We are allowed to share information and to gather information absolutely freely in a way that we are not allowed on any other platform, period. The internet is, is the Wild West. It is truly, truly free. Now, uh, why are they pushing net neutrality now? Uh, why are they calling it net neutrality? Is it the same thing as SOPA and PIPA? Um, why are some of the same people that were against SOPA and PIPA for net neutrality? Well, first of all, the reason they call it net neutrality is just because it sounds fair. It's a better name to get more people on board with it. Um, is it the same as SOPA and PIPA? Eh, pretty much, yes. It's about 99% the same. Uh, a few changes here and there, but overall the gist is the same. The government wants to control the internet and regulate the internet through the FCC. That's essentially what it boils down to, guys. Okay. Um, now, the reason that some of the same people who were against SOPA and PIPA are for net neutrality is because they're making it seem like it's a good idea. They're also using one example, um, which I'm not going to go into detail on. You can watch the podcast for this. But uh, there is essentially a fight between Comcast and Netflix that they're using as an example of how corporations, evil corporations, can strangle bandwidth to other companies and to you know you the citizens and they're trying to scare people into thinking we need the government to step in and take over the internet so that it's neutral and so that everything's fair. Um, they're trying to scare you into believing this. Now, why is this dangerous? Why is the government stepping in and regulating and taking control of the internet dangerous? Hopefully you know this already, but if you don't, imagine a world where you're like me where you get up every day and you like to check the internet, whether it's blogs or, or websites or YouTube or forums or whatever it is, to find out what's going on in the world. And like me, you care about your rights, your freedoms, your gun rights. You like to know when the ATF is trying to ban ammunition or trying to say that a SIG brace is illegal because you hold it a certain way. Let's say you're like me, you like to know those things. Now imagine you live in the world where the very government who you go to the internet to check up on controls the internet. They control the information source. Do you think you're going to get good information? Do you think you're going to be kept aware on a daily basis of what's going on, what the government's really doing? Or do you think you're not going to find out about things until it's too late and things are past? I think we know the answer to that, and that's the problem here. Now, there's a lot of other issues that we can talk about. The fact that if the government regulates the Internet, that you'd have to do things like get business licenses to start a website, and, and so many other things that are, that are against capitalism and a lot of other things. But the most important thing is the things that they can do when they control the information, the ways they can further restrict your rights and your liberties and your freedoms, even your gun rights. They can get away with so much more when they control the only means to gather good information. They can get away with almost anything they want. That's why I truly believe that this is one of the biggest attacks on our rights and our liberties and our freedoms that we have seen in a long time and you have to do something about it now because I'm going to tell you what, coming up on the 26th, okay, that's just a few days from now, okay, they are planning to vote in a committee on whether or not to send this to the House floor. Okay? Now, there are a lot of people, both Republican and Democrat, who want to see net neutrality go through. We need to stop them now. Okay? This is something that if it goes to the Senate, it will pass, and if it goes 
through the Senate to Obama's desk, he will sign it. Many, many people in government on both sides want more control of the internet for their own purposes. The 26th is our cutoff date. Talk to your congressman. Email, write, send letters, send faxes, make phone calls. I don't care. Let them know, not only know, but hell no. Make videos. Post on your blog. Do whatever you need to do. You need to spread this information because I am surprised by how little I'm hearing about this when it is such a big deal. So there you go, guys. There's the, the abbreviated version of all this. Watch the podcast if you want to hear more about it. But uh, please, make your voices heard. We have to stop this now. This is important. So there you go, guys. I appreciate you watching. Questions, comments, all that good stuff, leave it down below. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks.